This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. Very good morning to all. So, in last session, we discussed it with the get request, right? Get using Ajax. I mean, how we can fetch the data from an endpoint URL. How we can fetch the data from an endpoint URL and the, the what is the URL endpoint URL right our service URL so whatever it may be uh, people may ask us right by using Ajax we implemented an Ajax call that to get request only so today we are going to be implement the post request right so there is some data by using get request we fetched and we displayed the data into a table format that too without refreshing without reloading that we seen okay now i am going to create one form only uh form or chassis may maybe uh it may contain some fields like this username email password mobile let us create a very small form i will create a a form with the following fields right once form created you are going to enter some data after entering the data filling the data in the form we are going to submit right right once you submit it we have to collect the data and whatever the data you entered after that without refreshing without reloading post the data to server and generally uh, if any uh, form data want to go to server definitely page will refreshes if you can submit the form the page will get reloaded but here ajax we don't want to reload we don't want to refresh but it has to be done automatically in the system and okay now let us see how this is going to be work with here first of all let me create a html basic form with the required fields it is all about html i will do little bit css also right let us go and create the form i think you have already an idea how to create the forms and all maybe so <clears throat> here ajax form.html is the file i am going to create ajax from okay whatever it may be no worries i am creating the form quickly and try to watch the form creation empty can you see every form whatever the form you are going to create that may be a login form registration form some inquiry form the form field should be inside the form tag in the method place you can use either get request you can use their post request whatever you want you can do it now you may have a thought maybe sir we are working with post request that's the reason you are taking post method here no you can take any method here otherwise you can remove this also no problem this action is also not required actually if action is not there it will be posted to the same page if the method is not there by default method is get method default method is get by default even if you can mention or not but if you can mention the method post i think we don't have any problem but anyhow you can just check this this is what exactly the method post actually not required guys here but it may not be required but form tag should be there form tag open form tag close you may take other attributes or not we don't have any problem okay i'm not taking anything just you can see anyhow 
this form is going to be processed by using ajax na so those attributes are not required method is not required action is also not required because we will collect the data using javascript and we will post the data to server now, now you can see i am going to create the form fields four form fields we ask for right so let me have some design classes equal to form group okay here i am taking a label label this is going to be username input type is equal to text and because we are javascript and here id is required processing through JavaScript, na? name is not required guys just let me form control third fourth and fifth is the submit button for fifth one we don't need any label here let me go input type submit id not required class also not required let us take value equal to dev right here let me change this as mobile this is also going to be mobile let me change this as a password pass pass here also you can make this as a password type is equal to password here you can make it as password passwordd password now here you can go okay this is username okay email you can take it no problem email type is equal to something <coughs> <coughs> sorry this is the email okay so your form is ready and just you can refresh the page i mean if you can run the page and this is the output guys we are getting username email and if you want little bit design the form if you want let us do one thing let me take a div class is equal to container c o n t a i n r container let me close this overall thing into the following div do tag open do tag close okay let me do little bit design for this also so that it will be looks good good in css okay let's recollect something here now i'm going to take the class form control form c o n t r o l form control for this i'm taking the width as 100 percent let us take height is equal to 36 percent 36 pixels of the input form field i'm taking the border two pixel solid hash triple three border i'm taking now just you can see all the form fields was like this okay now i have to okay then i believe let me do one more thing here dot form group form group because all fields look like they are attached together let us write some padding top and bottom top bottom 10 pixels left right zero pixels now you can see okay there is some decent gap between the form fields good now to this container c o n t a i n r container let me take the width as a 70 percent width container overall thing i'm making center m a r j n margin zero pixels auto by writing this it will be center okay this form is looks good and the save button and still if you want to make it you can write border radius border r a d i u s border radius five pixels you can check this i think border radius is also applied to the form fields right okay now what are you going to do you are going to enter the data yes data is entered some password and some mobile number we entered if you can submit can you see the form is going to be refreshes the page i mean if i submit data will be gone from the form fields can you see i submitted data gone from the form fields why it gone from the form fields i mean the page is getting refreshing when you are submitting the button what is our intention when you submit the button page should not get refreshed and we have to collect the data and we have to post the data to server now you can see there is an event in javascript for handling the forms i'm writing always the event should be written on the form tag only here we are going to write the event call on submit the form 
what you want to do let us write this process form you can take any method no problem okay i'm taking the method simply called process the form now what you can do right now you can go to the bottom i am going to write an ajax call to work with the data i mean we have to post the data to server now now you can see guys here <clears throat> what is the function we created function process form okay done okay now function process form is okay in this process form function what we need to do first of all okay let me write alert function here alert i am writing hello okay let us check this first of all you are going to that page or not i am submitting this did you see you are getting alert means that once you submitted the form it is going to the javascript function after that only page is refreshing again can you see i am going to enter some data okay you can enter some data now you can submit it can you see page is re okay alert is coming after closing the alert the page is getting refreshing that's why the data is gone from the form fields if data gone we can't do anything right right okay i think in this function what i have to do on submit immediately i am coming to the function but after closing this alert form form is refreshing right i have to stop the default behavior of the form how can we stop it we know this is an event function hmm? which is appended to on submit that's why it is called event function for every event function event object is available automatically event object is available automatically in this event object we have a method called prevent default is a predefined method and it's a predefined method now you can see what i will do if you want you can take alert also no problem now you can say i just want to show you the problem what is the problem we have earlier now you can write hello message now you can go and refresh the page now i'm going to enter something okay now you can see i'm getting alert and day after closing the alert will it is going to be gone earlier data was gone from the fields now you can see the data is there in the form fields it is not escaped means that now the page is not refreshing now it's a good time to get the data and to post the data to server what is ajax without refreshing without reloading that's the main thing right now what i want to do here let me collect the text boxes data <coughs> where you name is equal to document dot get element by id what is the id and for the first text box i think you provided you name dot value and so if we can write a value property we can get the value you entered into the username text box what is my username text box this is the username text box and right you name that's why the id so based on the id we are getting dot value is the attribute to get the value in the same manner get email or the idea of it it's an email right let us take a variable variable choice is your you can take anything and variable now i have to take this as a mobile right you can take the id of the form field and it's mandatory how you have created here mobile the same way we have to take some people what they will do they will give capital letters but if you can give capital letter here here also you have to give the capital letter it's very very important thing name fields are very very important thing what is the case you guys are taking the same case you have to take it here it's better to take always in the lower case letters okay now right next one is finally password what is the password text box pass i believe p a s s and i have to take this as a pwd or something whatever you want you can take it right we got all the fields and if you want you can log all these values also now you can see console.log i just want to take a uname mail mob and pwd i'm just printing all the values here now you can check this we can see by pressing f12 in the console i will enter some data okay let me check the password and let me check this on submit page should not get refreshes but you are getting all the data you entered now this is the data you entered and we are getting the data now we are able to see the data okay now if we can submit this without entering anything form is submitting now but there is no data printed in the console it is all about empty because you didn't enter anything 
in the form fields let me write one small condition if u name not equal to empty and mail not equal to empty and mob not equal to empty and pwd not equal to empty if all the fields are not empty i have to submit the form if anyone is empty so i will write an alert message small alert message by saying that all fields are mandatory all fields are m a n d a t o r y mandatory just i'm writing the thing like this so don't worry right this is what exactly the thing guys <clears throat> okay now what we have to do here process the form okay if everything is okay if any one of the field is missing now you can submit this you are getting the alert all fields are mandatory now i will enter some fields i am not entering some fields now you can check this all fields are mandatory again which field is empty this is an empty enter the data now if you can submit we are not getting that alert now i submitted i am not getting the alert why because you are into the true block in the true block what you need to do you know we already collected the data data is ready what is the next thing create ajax object send request to server with the data now you can see how we are going to send the data to server now i'm i'm just going to show you just now try to observe this carefully where obj equal to new xml http request object is created and the object is created the second step we have to send the data to server now i mean this is not get request this is the post request first of all you have to establish the connection so we know that obj dot open and we have a method called obj dot send and now you can see yesterday example you already seen and today's example in the first request what is the first parameter method second parameter okay this is going to be a synchronous request second parameter is an endpoint url what is your endpoint url do you know you have a form you are collecting the data you should post to somewhere na where i have to post sir right now no one knows because you are a front end developer who will give you this url who will give you this end point url to you the back end developers will give us actually you two don't know i too don't know because you are front end our responsibility is whatever the data the user is entering in the form we have to collect and we have to post the data to server what is the server url they will tell us so here i have some dummy url let me provide this http colon slash slash tutors tutorslog.com slash user.php i have a file like this and whatever the data you are having the data we are going to post to the following file and and here it is going to be post request and it is not get request you are not uh, getting the data you are posting the data already you collected this data should be transferred to server now how we can post the data in the send method you have to pass a parameter and what are all the data you have collected all the data you have to pass here the data you collected now you have to pass into send method in the yesterday send method is empty we don't have anything because there is a get request so we don't want to pass anything in the send method now you are posting the data na whatever the data you collected you have to send the data via the send method and but there is a little bit format is there let me tell you what type of format you have to take it here if you want to send the data you have to pass like the key value pair combination and key one equal to value one and T2 equal to value 2 like this and you have to prepare the data in the following format key and value key value and uh, end operator how to use in this separator and again key value again key value like this and so on so on i mean what i have to do you are collecting some variables na you name mail mobile pwd let me prepare the data guys here i want to prepare the data like this let me take a variable where data is equal to username is the key equal to 
వేరియబుల్ అండి యు హ్యావ్ టు బైండ్ ద వేరియబుల్ నా ప్లస్ యూ నేమ్ యు హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ లైక్ దిస్ అండి బికాస్ యు హ్యావ్ టు ప్రిపేర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ డాటా నో యూ కెన్ సి ఎండ్ ఆపరేటర్ ఐఎమ్ యూజింగ్ యూజర్ ఈమెయిల్ ఈక్వల్ టు దిస్ ఈస్ ద మెయిల్ వేరియబుల్ జస్ట్ యూ కెన్ కన్కాటినేట్ లైక్ దిస్ ఎండ్ ఆపరేటర్ మొబైల్ ఎంఓబి ఐఎల్ఈ మొబైల్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎంఓబి just and password is equal to pwd and <clears throat> if you have any doubt here how why we did it like this you know we have to prepare the following format i told you right we have to concatenate but i want to tell you one thing okay console dot log of data let me show you the data how it will be printed in the console okay now you can go and refresh the page let us enter some data entered and you can enter some data okay now you can check this guys here can you see how the data is prepared here i think you are able to see now how the data prepared here right now can we see the data i am going to be copy here now you can see the data how the data i told you this format right now you can see the data the same na username some key equal to hello world hello world is the value you entered username is the key remember key name is your choice what is the name of the key i take an user name na you can take hi hello any key you can take but take some meaningful key names it is going to be helpful to the server side people <coughs> okay now in the same manner username is equal to mail id and mobile the same format na i told you right this is the format you have to take it here every pair should be separated to server now what you can do whatever the data you prepared na this data variable you can pass here that's all guys data is going to be sent to server i will tell you i don't want to pass anything here data is send method is empty okay one minute you can go there guys try to see i will show you in the network what is going to be happen now i have to try to see enter some data now i am going to enter something I entered something now you can if you can submit it can you see can you see in the right side oh 200 means your data is posted but you can see i am clicking on it can you see guys what is my response i am getting status file and the server is sending a response to me status file why because here in the headers also you can check this uh chutes log user.php and the method is post and your request status code is 200 and 200 and it's successfully done but in the c here you have request headers view source nothing is there i'm going to check this request headers nothing is there request headers are there but did you send the data you didn't send the data na if you sent the data the data we can see here you didn't send any data to the server that's the reason the response is a fail now you can see now i am going to take the data variable now you can check this now i am going to enter the data again so now you can go and enter the data let us enter some password now i entered something now you can submit it again request is 200 and right now i am clicking this can you see guys here now this time status is success and why because you passing the data to server in the send method that's why the server receives the data and it is sending a response back to you success status is success you can see in the headers also earlier you can see response headers and request headers only you didn't see request payload earlier this is not there this is the data you have here the data you are sending to server and this is the data you have and you are sending the data to server exactly all done now what happened we are it went to server and we are getting the response as a response status as a success guys <clears throat> you are getting the data response status as success now we have to handle the response handling right let's do obj dot on ready state change equal to a callback function same story and whatever the logic you written yesterday the same logic we have right here this function will call automatically if the server receives the request automatically will call so in this i will write one thing obj dot ready state r e a d y ready state s t a t e equal to equal to 4 
and obj dot status equal to equal to 200 i mean if everything is okay the url is valid and your response is ready so what is the meaning of it if the url you have provided is valid so it will give you 200 otherwise here you can check one more condition ready state 4 means your response is ready request process successfully response is ready now here i'll let or else console.log let us go for it console.log in this obj dot response text only i think we've seen something in the console right status success something now you can see i will post the data to the server now in the console let us see what is the message you are going to get there let us go and enter some password okay now you can submit it in the console is it submitted I, oh yeah so you are see status uh, success but this is a json string andy what are the value you are able to see this is a json how can we access the json right now you can see i am going to take the same variable where j data equal to json dot parse right in the json dot parse we are going to get the thing like this and this so in the json dot parse now you can print this console dot log of j data you can see what is the output you are going to get there execute it now you can check this all the data is mandatory data enter some fields now you can submit it if you can submit now you can see this time you are getting an object and right object now i have tried one condition now you can see what is the condition we are going right here j data dot status and it's an object now status equal to equal to success if you are getting the value success from the server we have to do something okay else uh, you have to do some other thing i mean if the if the value is not if the status value is not success definitely we see an earlier fail now if you got fail failure message if you got success success message let me do one thing i have to take a div here let us take the div and a div div id equal to i'm taking an msz to this msz variable i will bind the success message let us get the success message here i mean first get the div document dot get element by id what is the variable msz i mean the id dot inner html equal to account created successfully andy account created successfully try to see how this message will be displayed otherwise here i am going to write the message sorry unable to create an account and sorry unable to create an account okay now unable to create an account right now we can check this i'm going to refresh the page if everything is okay now i'm going to check this some password now you can submit this you can see if everything is okay on top you have to see the message account created successfully once you got this message you have to clean the form data now why form data is still required here what are the data you have entered this data should be cleaned up and day so once account created we don't want to see the previous data right to do this i am going to do one more scenario here for this form let me take an id equal to my form what is the id my form you can take any id let us see how can we reset the form data same let us get the id here document dot once you got the successful message i'm going to get the same document dot get element by id what is the form id my form id dot reset and reset is a predefined method by writing this reset method what are the data you have entered in the form that will be gone after getting success message okay now you can check this i'm going to enter the data now you can enter some password now i'm going to enter the mobile number let me submit the save button now you can see oh taking time okay anyhow account created successfully but and the form data is cleaned up right but when you're submitting the form it is taking some time now nah? at this point of time what i want to do sir i want to keep a loader sir a small loader image by keeping that loader image i think we can see it is look like a processing see first of all when i 
entering data if you can submit the button loader image should be there okay let me do one thing just beside the submit button i have to add a loader image andy okay i need to get the loader image andy one minute let me go and uh, get one loader image i think i have loader image somewhere in my applications i believe <coughs> I have this image somewhere I copied yesterday. One minute. Okay, this is the loader image. Let me copy this image to your folder. JavaScript. Do you have images here? We don't have images folder. Let me create one folder with name images. Okay, let me keep the image inside of it. Okay, loading.gif okay do one thing go to your code just beside the button and just beside the button img src equal to images folders slash loading dot gif and for this i have to set some height width also because the height of the image is very big 30 and width is also 30 and 30 by 30. now you can check this if you can refresh the page loader is there and but when loader should become initially loader image should be hidden when you click the save button loader should become once you got the success message loader should be hidden okay now right now you can see what i want to do the loader image should be hidden initially let me do one thing for this i am going to take an id equal to loader you can take any id there no problem this loader image what i want to do here Initially in the CSS hash loader, I have to hide it and how can we hide by using display none? If you can write display none, that is hidden. Okay, that's gone. Now, when you are clicking the submit button, you are clicking the submit button, right? On click the submit button, the loader should be come. Okay, and once you got the response from the server, the loader should be hidden. Now you can see what I want to do here where loader equal to document dot get element by id what is the id of the loader image loader only loader loader right let us see once you click the submit button loader dot style dot display and equal to block it has to be displayed i mean display none means it will be hidden display block means it will be shown to you now you can check this now I'm going to refresh the page, enter some data in the form. Now I'm going to enter some data. You can enter. Now you can check this. Can you see loader is coming? Once you got this success message, a loader should be hidden, but still the loader is loading. No, I don't want to do this. Then what you need to do, if you got this success message, where is the success message you are setting? This is the place. In this place, what you need to do, again, you have to make it as none and display none so even though if you have any error it should be none only right now you can check this as we expected i think this is going to be works for us and let us see i'm going to write test let us write something here right now it's a mobile number okay no problem you can enter anything no worries we didn't do any validation now right submit this now you can see loader came once i got the success message the loader is hiding now I mean it's look like a processing when you are doing the payment processing also you are clicking the submit button the payment loader is loading they will tell us don't refresh or don't click the back button or something like this right once the process is completed loader will be hidden automatically we don't want to hide it or we don't want to do anything for it this is how exactly we can work with the forms the only thing we missed here we are not full pledged validation and we are just doing one validation by simply saying that all fields are mandatory in some other session i will discuss the forms and its validations also right how we can do the validation that we can talk about later right Andy. so this is all about the ajax call hosting data to a server and can you see the logics what we written we just collected the data i think you know right what is i did here ajax object creation 
and this is all about the logic for hiding the images and showing the images can you see all the things together we are implementing an application we are hiding something we are showing something we are displaying a success message right Be the success message we are displaying based on the response we are getting from the server right how do we know sir response status fail status success how do we know we can check on click the submit button remember on click the submit button and we can go and check into the response tab only this is your network tab now in the network tab we can check it what is the response you are getting for any url for any request you can come and you can check here what type of data you are getting by seeing this we can understand what type of it is it is a json string it is nothing but a json format and we are getting output uh, we are getting the data as a json string the string should be converted into javascript object that's why you are using json.pass there right it's all about our form processing and okay yesterday uh, i given an endpoint url did you work on it json placeholder tp code uh, users okay anyhow this is all about the thing if you have any doubts in the yesterday's session and leave, please let me know guys here <clears throat>